Hi everyone, welcome to JE Max. JE means Advanced Exchange Series uh, of Season 2. In Season 2 of JE Max, uh, we are completely concentrating on a particular topic. Uh, of that, we are concentrating on complex numbers, which is very, very important of uh, entire JE Mains and Advanced Examinations. Uh, this is the lesson number 21 of the complex numbers so, so far we have successfully completed first 20 lessons of the complex numbers uh, through that 20 lessons we have completely concentrated on the theoretical parts of the complex numbers and that notes is very very important again i am requesting please don't forget to check the description and please don't uh, forget to share and uh, uh, subscribe my channel and uh, uh, press the bell icon because uh, through uh, in the description i will i am providing the links of all previous uh, 20 lessons also for you that will give maximum advantage actually from 20, lesson number 20 we are completely concentrating on the problems of uh, complex numbers uh, here through this lessons uh, i am concentrating the problems of uh, icon integrated test book in our previous uh, lessons i have completed exercise 4.1 now it is exercise 4.2 in 20th uh, in uh, lesson number 20 i have completed excess 4.1122 problems this is about problem number three and four of excess 4.2 of integrated test book now coming to exercise uh, 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 second problem a uh, second problem of uh, this one uh, if z is equal to x plus i y find the locus of z of the following so first question so mod z is equal to one is given for you mod z means uh, uh, root of x square plus y square is equal to 1. So by squaring on both sides, you will get what? x square plus y square is equal to 1. So, whenever they are asking to find the locus, you have to express the entire things in terms of x and y. So, clear cut, okay, clearly it indicates what? The locus is a circle. See, in complex number, problems on a locus uh, will uh, um, uh, give much more attention because uh, in a complete examination, several times the problems were repeated based on the locus problems. So, in a complex number, this is one of the main important area. So, here, if you are imaginating the curves very easily through this information, then the things are very better for you. Now, coming to the second question, mod of z minus 2 plus 3i equal to 4. Here, my z is equal to x plus i y minus 2 plus 3i equal to 4. This I can write it as mod of x minus 2 plus i into y plus 3 equal to 4 by squaring this is nothing but x minus 2 whole square plus y plus 3 whole square equal to 16. After simplification, you will get this as the circle. So, again it is what it represents a circle. And of course, here now third problem is mod of 2z minus 3 equal to 7. This I can write it as mod of 2 into z is x plus i y minus 3 equal to 7. This I can write it as 2x minus 3 plus 2iy equal to 7. This implies by squaring 4x minus 3 whole square plus 4y square is equal to 49. After simplification, you will get this as the locus. Similarly, imaginary of z square, that is imaginary of z square is x plus iy whole square is equal to 4 is given. That is imaginary of x plus i y whole square is x square minus y square plus 2 i x y equal to 4. So, imaginary part of this one is 2 x y. 2 x y is equal to 4 is given for you. So, x y is equal to 2. This is called a rectangular hyperbola. Rectangular hyperbola. Similarly, the last one is mod of z minus 2 equal to 2 into mod of z minus 1. So, here what I am saying is mod of z minus 2 x plus i y minus 2 equal to 2 into mod of x plus i y minus 1. This I can write it as 
root of x minus 2 whole square plus y square equal to 2 into root of x minus 3 whole square plus y square. Again, after squaring on both sides, you can get this as what? x minus 2 whole square plus y square equal to 4 into x minus 3 whole square plus y square. After simplification, you will get this as the answer. These are all are the very elementary cases. One can solve and one can get these are the results. There is no problem at all. But the beauty of these particular questions is different. That I will explain in the next lessons. Okay. Now coming to the fourth problem, fourth one. Show that the points on the organ plane represented by the complex number 5 minus 5i, 5 1 plus 3i, 4 minus 3 lie on the same line. That means they are collinear. So suppose z1 is equal to 5 minus 5i. This is nothing but 5 minus 5 as an ordered pair form. Z2 is equal to 1 plus 3i. This is nothing but 1 comma 3. Z3 is equal to 4 minus 3i. That is equal to 4 minus 3. Now I want to check whether they lie on the line or not. There are several methods. You can find the equation of any uh, any line passing through any two points and substitute the remaining point. If it satisfies, simply you can say that the lines are collinear, the points are collinear. Or otherwise, consider this determinant 5 minus 5, 1, 1, 3, 1, 4 minus 3, 1. You expand this 5 into 3 plus 3 plus 5 into 1 minus 4 plus 1 into minus 3 minus 12. This is 30. This is minus 20. This is uh, uh, my, not minus 20, minus uh, 10, uh, my, uh, minus 15. And this is minus 15. That is 30 minus 30 is equal to 0. If this is 0, obviously the points are what? That implies the points z1 comma z2 comma z3 are collinear. So whenever they are asking the questions in complex numbers to check whether the points are collinear, we just to find the determinant and show that it is zero. Now coming to fourth the second problem, show that the equation of the straight line joining the three points is. Yeah, suppose z1 is given for you, that is a two minus three i, and z2 is given for you that has minus 4 plus 3i. Actually, there are several methods you can solve the problem, but uh, you can write this as the ordered pair form as a 2 minus 3, this as what, minus 4 comma 3. Now find the equation of the line passing through these two points. That you can write it as what, y plus 3, equation of the line is, equation of the line is, you can write y plus 3 by minus 3, by minus 3 equal to x minus 2 by 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4. This is what? y plus 3 by minus 6 is equal to x minus 2 by 6. Cancel it. So y plus 3 equal to minus x plus 2. That is x plus y plus 1 equal to 0. This is the equation of the line. This is the way to find the equational line passing through two points as given equation. Now coming to fourth the third problem. The equation of the straight line passing through the points in the organ plane. Find the equation of the straight line passing through the points. Just like uh, previous problem, you can also solve the same problem because uh, uh, you can take z1 as what minus 9 comma 6 and z2 as what 11 comma minus 4. Therefore, equation of the line is equal to of the line is equal to, you can write this as what, y minus 6 by 6 plus 4 equal to x plus 9 by minus 9 minus 11. So this is y minus 6 by 10 equal to x plus 9 by minus 20. So this is minus 2 you can get. So minus 2y plus 12 equal to x plus 9. So x plus 2y uh, minus uh, 3 equal to 0. So, this is the equation of the line. Now, coming to 
uh, fourth the fourth problem equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line segment joining equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line segment joining suppose if it is a uh, 7 comma minus uh, 7 comma 7 suppose this is z1 and this is b that is 7 minus uh, 7 then this is the perpendicular bisector i have to find this is the perpendicular so i need to find the midpoint i need to find the midpoint the midpoint of this one is equal to what 14 comma 0 so and i i, I need to find the slope slope of ab slope of ab equal to that is 7 plus 7 by 7 minus 7 which is equal to 14 by 0 therefore slope of the perpendicular bisector slope of the perpendicular bisector perpendicular bisector is equal to 0 therefore equation of the perpendicular bisector equation of the perpendicular bisector i can write it as y minus 0 equal to 0 into x minus 14 so this is y equal to 0 that is x axis see several ways several ways or geometrically also you can prove that very easily because uh, as an fx of z, uh, 7, uh, 7 plus uh, 7i the point should be in like this only this is uh, say 7 plus 7i because this is 7 and this is 7 and the 7 minus 7i is also like this this is 7 minus 7i so the perpendicular distance that we are we have to find perpendicular bisector of these two points we have to find that is uh, uh, obviously perpendicular bisector of line joining these two points is nothing but uh, y is equal to 0 that is nothing but x axis clear my friends so this is the way to find the perpendicular bisector of uh, complex lines see actually here uh, the another I, I am giving a small other hint also for you actually in easy way we can convert them into the coordinate forms and uh, getting equations are very easy for you but the procedure Another procedure is, see, actually we can also solve the problem in this way. The concept of a perpendicular bisector I need to apply. What is the meaning of a perpendicular bisector? The locus of the point which moves equidistance from the given points. That is PA minus PA. That is mod of Z1, Z minus Z1 is equal to mod of Z minus Z2. Then if you have solved this, you will get the answer. This means what? Actually, mod of Z minus Z means Z, uh, X plus I Y minus z1 is 7 plus 7i equal to mod of z minus that is x plus i y minus of 7 minus 7i this is nothing but this is modulus means x minus 7 whole square plus y minus 7 whole square equal to root of x minus 7 whole square plus y plus 7 whole square after squaring y minus 7 whole square equal to y plus 7 whole square again after simplification minus 14 y equal to 14 y so y equal to 0 this is original way to prove the perpendicular bisector by definition but choice left to you you can solve the problems either way okay now hope uh, you like this video if you like this video please share and subscribe my channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon we will meet with the next lesson soon thank you